Michael. We have new information on the arrest of a man accused of killing a former Colorado Springs firefighter. Gustavo Torres Gonzalez is in custody, accused in the death of Daryl Ritz. Ritz was shot and killed last week. Investigators found his body on his father's property in eastern El Paso County. Cardio News Channel 13's Greg Miller talked with the lead investigator on this case and the victim's brother. Greg is live outside the sheriff's office, and even though there's been an arrest here, there's more work to do in this case, Greg. And the family tonight, really grateful, you guys, that they were able to, the sheriff's office deputies were able to put all of these pieces together and make some progress. They admit that this is nowhere near closure, but they're at least hoping for justice tonight. Daryl Ritz's family is still grieving. I've lost a brother, you know, he was a father, he was a son, a husband, uh, and a member of this community. And to be taken away from the community when he still had more to give and was willing to give uh, is a tragedy for us all. It was his dedication to family that brought Ritz to his father's property. He routinely checked on it. Stuff he did was for family. Uh, when he wasn't doing it for family, he was doing it for the community as a firefighter. So. Investigators say it could have been that property Gustavo Torres Gonzalez was targeting and not Ritz, but they won't reveal a specific motive. Torres Gonzalez was arrested two days ago. He remains in the hospital and won't go to jail until he's released. In the meantime, investigators say they are still looking for more evidence, including Ritz's iPhone 6 still missing. And because we know he had the phone on his person during the incident, there could be valuable evidence contained on that phone. While it doesn't bring answers as to why Ritz had to die. It's been hard. It'll still be hard. Um, we're never going to let him be forgotten. His family is focusing now on keeping his memory alive. He cared and he really spent his time working for the community and doing what he believed was fully right for this community. Now we have a map we want to show you. Investigators say they still need your help tonight, especially if you live in this area near Judge Orr Road and Highway 24. And if you may have had any information or even surveillance video from the neighborhood, they're looking for anything they can get at this point. You're asked to contact the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, where it spent 33 years as a firefighter. He leaves behind a wife and two daughters. Live in Colorado Springs tonight, Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Greg.